Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you my Sunsinger build and how I made Sunsinger decent after its insane nerfs. Um, so this is my build right now. As you can see I'm running Claws and Monte Carlo. Now the reason why I'm using Monte Carlo is because my well, one I love the gun and two it basically dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability with the next kill. Now that's amazing honestly because flame shield is going to give me more health and constantly getting flame shields and meleeing people with claws which will give me double melee basically um, will mean I can have as much health as I want as long as I'm meleeing people and getting kills now the Sunsinger build itself which is what you're about to see here is now the generic build uh, fusion grenades focus burst fireborn or radiant skin i don't really like radiant skin that much because i prefer um like because if i've got it on i won't use the super at all i mean radiance is pretty much shit now um but it, it is what it is um flame shield of course i'm going to be using because i want more health radiant will for increased super uh time and double fusion grenades so i have double melee and double grenades which is really nice um plus my discipline is maxed and my strength is almost maxed, but that won't be a problem since I got Monte Carlo. Um, now the clips you're going to be seeing here is me just melting with the Monte Carlo and making Sunsinger look good, essentially. This clip not so much, but the next clip makes Sunsinger look decent. Um, so I'm just mowing people down with Monte Carlo. To be honest, this is the first game I use Monte Carlo in PvP in a while. I use it every now and then, but this is the first time it's really been decent. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the Monte Carlo. That guy just spawned, instantly killed. I killed this guy. I get killed by this guy, I think. Oh no, I actually killed this guy. So I ran out my primary, no time to reload. I just go in and finish him off with a shotgun. Decent. No, die. But um, yeah, with the fusion grenades, you're basically going to get insta-kills. You've got the melees for increased health. It's just, it's good. I'm mowing people down. That guy tried to shoulder charge me. He doesn't even know what a gun is. Sad times. I miss a fusion grenade here. That might happen often because they don't necessarily track that much not as much as flux grenades but um yeah there you go and this is a uh, clip of why radiance is shit i just what the fuck i didn't even get out the animation like damn that definitely needs buffing uh the the amount of armor you get after self-resing needs to be buffed because you get insta killed now um which i'm not a fan of so yeah there you go as you can see i had a flame shield i survived that i managed to get the shotgun off on that guy I died here, but I do kill him because he gets weak and then fusion grenade, you know, there you go. Now for me, since I'm quite new to fusion grenades, I'm not very good at aiming them. So yeah, you know, I'm pretty shit with fusion grenades at the moment, but I'm sure I'll get better. But um, yeah, this was my build for Sunsinger. Um, just a short video showing you guys what you should be using on Sunsinger now to make it decent because I basically go positive every game on my Warlock. As you can tell, Flame Shield, he couldn't kill me wipe that guy out this guy yeah he's gone got another flame shield it's just it's it's amazing but anyway guys thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already and uh let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a void walker or a stormcaller build video because i can definitely do that um my void walker build is pretty damn solid and my stormcaller build is also fairly decent i wouldn't say it's perfect but my void walker build is definitely definitely good anyway guys thanks for watching and adios